guys! Hey, and welcome finally to Planet Zoo! I've been excited about this game for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and start this so it can load and do whatever it needs to in the background, by the way. Um, but, oh hey, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump into Planet Zoo franchise mode and try and, uh, try and do some online gameplay here. I've, I've been looking forward to getting to actually play Planet Zoo on the channel for a while now. The channel's been in a bit of an interesting state due to the compass stuff, and I've been actually practicing quite a lot of building in Planet Zoo here. So hopefully my zoo won't, uh, won't look too bad. I, I think I figured some things out. <laughs> hopefully we'll continue to figure some things out. But we got enough conservation points to make a new zoo it looks like well we got uh, we got 300 at least so we can get a new zoo and I guess the I, what I've heard I, I'm not too sure how franchise mode works I think you can only have one so I didn't exactly get to try it out but uh, I am familiar with the rest of the game we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make a new zoo and oh boy um I usually like the taiga and I'm gonna just go with the North America one. Oh gosh um, hmm, I'm just gonna go with the wild taiga because originality, yay! <laughs> but we'll go ahead, we'll create that and get started. I got an achievement for it, my first franchise zoo here. So, uh, we're gonna start out with this and uh, I'm gonna explain a few things as we go on because there's been some new things to the channel. Uh, we got forty, forty thousand dollars looks like right now and... A whole lot of nothing. So <laughs> we're going to make this nothing into a zoo. We've got 200 conservation credits. The first thing that I think we need to do is actually build an animal trading center so that we can kind of see what's going on there. Now, the thing about franchise mode is that I believe you trade with people in real time. And um, that could be a little bit interesting. Uh, I'm not too sure how that works. I've used the training center only in offline mode, and I've heard it can be a little competitive in uh, in this in this version or in the, in the franchise mode. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm not actually too sure. But the first thing that I want to explain is uh, the way I'm going to do the building here because uh, I'm going to do it in a little bit of an interesting way. So you can actually see the builds for all these things. Um, on my Patreon. I'm going to be putting the build videos there. If you guys want to see that as an extra thing, then you can go ahead and check that out. I have a link to my Patreon in the video description. If not, I'll give a brief recap of what I did uh, after I finished the build. And so as I go ahead and figure out what I want to do with my facilities here and figure out how to put them in, um, I'm going to just do that uh, mostly, mostly kind of edited out here, and if you want to see the full video, you'll be able to check it out on my Patreon as one of the rewards, probably probably the lowest here. <laughs> um, again, my basically my goal with my Patreon, I've said this in other videos, is to be a supplement to what I do here on the channel. You're still going to get all the main content here for free, but if you do want to see a little bit of the extra behind the scenes, then you can go ahead and check that out. So as we get started here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can see the full speed build on my Patreon. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a few minutes minutes and we'll check out what I've done. Okay, so I think I got our staff center built that took more than half of our money, holy smokes. But uh, we've got our keeper hut, so this will be a good start. Um, we'll probably upgrade, we'll, pro we'll, we'll probably add more, but having one small one here to help probably isn't a bad idea. Um, we have a workshop, we've got our trade center, we've got our quarantine, we've got, oops, that's the whole group. Uh, we've got a staff room. I tried to get everything up to max. These are really hard to do. Uh, it says add scenery ends around building to increase, so I added a bunch of trees. 
and also that just makes it look nicer in general. We've got the vet surgery, we've got the research center, and then out here we've got an info center and a toilet block. Oh, and that's not well sceneried, so maybe I'll just plunk some stuff in real fast here. Um, just to kind of add a little bit extra around there, and I've been liking the dwarf cornal. There we go. Let's go over here. Does that help? That helps some. It'll help when we build some things across from it, too, uh, I think. So, basically, I kind of built this branching area, too, because I want to start kind of... Like, I want to put an exhibit here, and then we can actually have the staff gate on the back side here. We can put kind of, um an exhibit over here. It's going to look a little lopsided at first when we get things set up, but I wanted to actually figure out what animal we should put in first. And so to do that, we got to go to animal trading. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what kind of chaos to expect. Holy smokes. Yeah, people said there's a lot of, um, a lot of, what I was hearing people saying is that people are selling a lot of stuff for the, um, uh, for the conservation credit. So let's just look at the cash ones and filter by that and see what we can buy because we don't have a lot of that. Oh, we could get... Does he... If I look at Rudo, oh, he's got pretty bad genes. I kind of... Hmm. I'm tempted to just buy him. I think I'm going to do that <laughs> because I like African wild dogs and we can probably have him sit in the trade center for a little bit if we need to. But I think aardvarks look like they might be our best bet. Let's figure out how much uh, space they're going to need. So if we look over here, we can scroll to the artwork. Oh, right there. Okay, we're already on it. <laughs> that was, I couldn't find it. So 330, that's not too bad. That's pretty low. Grade two fencing. And group size up to two, basically. So up to one male and up to one female. So that's actually a pretty small group size. Um, now we gotta, we'll have to put the exhibit in there. What biome are they again? If we look here, they are tropical and grassland. So we could do like a nice grassland fading into tropical area. I'm gonna have to try and figure out regions. We might have to shuffle things around and change things as we get a little bit, a um, little bit closer here, <laughs> like to, to having the zoo finished. But maybe what I'll do, you know, actually I think I'll build it right in this middle area here. So let's go ahead and get started perhaps on that. And then what I think I'll do, well, I'll show you guys in a minute here. I'm gonna just go ahead and do the next build though. Well, first of all though, let's get aardvarks possibly. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go and actually buy the animals and see. So we've, there's only a few of them, let's see. They don't have the greatest genes. That's what people said can be really hard about them. Oh, we've got uh, a couple more African wild dogs that are pretty cheap. Let's compare. I just want to see. Oh, we haven't technically, if I look in our animal storage, we've got Rudo. We might change these. I might, that's one thing that's going to be a Patreon perk, I think, is possibly naming animals and such not. So let's go to the trading center here. Because if we go to storage, he should be there. Can we compare mates? I want to I wanna know if this African wild dog would be a good mate. No, we can't. Okay, we'll figure that out eventually. But uh, for now... Did all the aardvarks get bought already? Uh, these guys all have... I'm going to end up just buying a bunch of animals <laughs> that we don't really have a place for right off the bat. Actually, if we look at the bison... They need more, don't they? More space. So you kind of just have to buy stuff right away, I think, if you find a good animal. If you look at bison, 420, and they need a group size of three. Okay, well, let's maybe get started on the bison if there's still any. Oh, no, the aardvarks are back now. All right, so let's see. So Takia looks like a pretty decent option. I'm going to go ahead and, oh gosh, they're kind of expensive. But I'm going to adopt these two. And that's going to... Are you going to let me? Yes, there we go. So I go to the Trade Center. We've got these two. If I select them, can I compare mates? Now, if we have them both in the zoo, no, we really can't. <laughs> so we'll have to figure that out. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll, get, we'll get started on this. I'll go ahead and build the aardvark exhibit and we'll release these guys. 
Okay, so I went and got things sorted. I set up some work zones as well, and uh, I'm actually gonna move our aardvarks to the quarantine first, but I built this kind of area here, and I think to let's make sure we put the glass in the front of it. So the reason there's that kind of dip at the back of it is because eventually I wanna put a staff area back there, and I think that might be, oh, quarantine full. Uh-oh, oh, I guess. I guess whatever it was they figured it out. Sometimes they give you weird kind of alerts that don't necessarily mean anything, I think. Like sometimes they just get stuck for a moment, but then they figure it out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the height here. Oh, that costs a lot of money actually. But uh, for now, I'm gonna keep this staff gate here. Eventually I'm gonna put it in the back here and have a staff area back here, but I think it'll be closer to have this area uh, right now. What I eventually do is put an exhibit on this side and then uh, we'll move the staff over here. So now that we're gonna have some animals, um, let's also place in some facilities here. Let's put in a donation box. In fact, we'll put a couple of them in because we want people to, uh, to give us money. And then I did put an info center here so that the uh, guests will be able to uh, buy stuff there as well and get the information that they need. Oh, and there's one thing that I probably should do as well. I'm gonna move this a bit. Um, and that would be, I'm gonna go ahead and see, well, we'll see if we have any good signs. I'm kind of using some basic stuff for the construction right now, and we might change the style of it, because I kind of don't like this style so much, but we don't have a lot of money right now, so, uh, we'll see. Um, wall signs, or is there, okay, both of those are ready to leave. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna place a sign here. And what this will be is the exhibit donor sign. And this is something that I'm starting through my Patreon as well. So if, um, and I'll put one on the other side. So basically, if uh, you would like to have your name show up somewhere in the series, somewhere in the zoo, uh, you can actually support my channel on Patreon, and that'll be one of the rewards. It'll probably be the lowest level, re or one of the lower level rewards, uh, if you would like to sponsor an exhibit. So you can do that. There can be, well, depending on the size of the exhibit, probably two sponsors or, or more, perhaps. Um, and so if you'd like to support my channel, then your name can actually show up in the series itself and be visible for anyone to see that you supported the channel. Uh, so you can definitely check that out if you're interested, uh, and also see the speed builds of the things that I've been working on here. Um, just go ahead and check out the Patreon link in the video description if you'd like to see that. But I see these guys have passed their quarantine, so I'm actually going to move these guys right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in... And then we're going to pause the game real fast because this will let us make sure that um, that we're able to set up their exhibit well because we'll be able to see what their needs are. And we can't really see that until they're in the exhibit. So we'll pause it real quick to take care of that and then kind of address what we see their need to be. And it uh, looks like the vet's helping as well. And here we go. So let's just make sure both of them <laughs> come in here. Oh, we've got an ex uh, inspector coming now. Um... Uh-oh. Not reach. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I didn't <laughs> I didn't actually set that up, but I'm, gl I'm glad it notified me of that because first of all, I'm going to change these to be a little bit better. But okay, what I'm going to actually do is go look at my work zones. Work zones are a little technical, so I don't know how much I'll do with them on camera, but let's just go ahead and edit this. And we'll go ahead and include this. Basically, this tells your staff members where they can or can't work. And you want to make sure you have a mechanic here, because if you look at the exhibit, you can see the barrier status is at 92%. And if that gets too low, eventually they can break. So these guys are probably not going to be too happy right off the bat. They don't have anything that they actually need. Um, enrichment is terrible. But what I'm really interested in right now is this habitat. So we want to make sure, first of all, that we adjust the terrain in here. Let's go ahead. We want to add more soil and we need more short grass. Interesting. Okay. So painting is where I want to be. Let's go ahead. We'll add some more short grass. We'll have a little, maybe a little bit of uh, the longer grass in the front. But we're also going to need some soil. And so let's kind of put a little bit of the longer grass along here. Just a little bit, not a huge amount. Uh, that's still within reason. And we'll go ahead and put some heavy soil back here. And maybe a little light soil around the edges. 
just to kind of finish that out. There we go. And that should balance the, yeah, that'll balance that out quite well. So now what we need is hard shelter. Eventually, I might build these guys like a rock shelter, but I'm not going to do that in this episode. For now, we're just going to get some of the more default shelters. And we'll go ahead, we can get... Is there... These are huge. <laughs> I want one that's a slight bit smaller. Um, I like the sloped roof ones. So let's put one of these here. That matches the fence real nice, actually. Let's put one or two of them in and kind of get it adjusted at a good angle. $140. I think you might have to, um, like, I think you might have to play the game for it to recalculate that. And let's also, there's one other thing. Good gracious, this is hard to align, but there we go. There's one other thing I want to check, and that's actually one of these heat maps, which is not welfare habitat. Yeah, just to make sure there's nowhere they can escape. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit play for a minute. Hard shelter is at 54%. That's good to know. So basically what we need to do then is place more of these. Now, if these aardvarks breed, then um, we'll kind of want to... Um, we might want to update some of this. We can't probably keep the babies indefinitely because it the they don't they're not super social animals. It sounds like it sounds like at least the impression I was getting from oops, I think I used the wrong shelter type over here, but oh well, we'll just match it. It'll be a little uneven. Um let's go over here and tweak it. But if we look at their uh, page in the uh, encyclopedia here, we can see that it's a group of one to two, up to one male, up to one female. So they're pretty solitary creatures. And uh, so we don't necessarily want them to, um, like we don't we don't necessarily want them to be um, having a huge social group because they're not gonna be too happy with that. Okay, so plants, let's see. So tropical, I'm gonna place some tropical plants in because it looks really sparse. Um, they're from Africa, so let's go ahead, we'll go to the continent of Africa, and the biome of the, are there any that appear both in grassland and tropical? Or maybe it, maybe it just shows one or the other. <laughs> um, bird's nest, ferns, we can place a few of these around, place some of this here. Eventually this will be where I'll put the entrance. Did I place that wrong? I kind of did, I think, well, no, maybe I didn't. I'll place just a few of these in, and that'll kind of make it just a slight bit less sparse. I'm going to place this one over here because we already have one of the other kind. There we go. So that's about the maximum. There's nothing that they're complaining about, and I think if we play, that should make them a lot happier. Yeah, their welfare is pretty good. So now all we got to do, well, <laughs> I say their welfare is pretty good, but now we got to do, like, the other essentials. So, like, um food and water and stuff, the really important things. Okay, so let's filter by species. We'll filter by aardvark, and uh, we can go ahead and see. I'll give them a large food bowl here, and we'll give them a large, or a water pipe here. So, you know, I'm not gonna place heaters just yet, but if it gets colder, because it is a taiga, we might have to place in some heaters to make sure they don't get too cold. And we don't have any enrichment items yet, so they're just gonna have to make do for now. But what we will do is we'll go to this, we'll go to vet research, and we'll have our vet start researching aardvark so that we can uh, eventually uh, get some things for them. Holy smokes, the guests are here in droves. Look at them coming in. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's see if we've got, so facilities, um, not guest facilities, bins, benches, and security. I'm gonna place some a, a couple bins here because you can never have too many trash cans. Um, but these guys are gonna come see. And maybe I'll scooch some of these around. We'll, we'll kind of see if we can get this started because we've spent about $30,000. We need to start making that back. Are we actually earning income here? We haven't gotten any donations over here. Somebody please donate. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hopefully people will. But the guests do seem to be enjoying them thus far. Oh, we got... Whoa, yo, we got, we got two donations there. We haven't gotten any on this side, but I think this could work. But we should place in some lighting. And I'll put a few over by the exhibit as well. We probably want to add some education parts to it as well. 
So we'll see here. Let's go ahead and put this here. Vet research is complete. Woohoo! We got an achievement for that as well. So we've got a little bit of research for our aardvarks. Now I'm going to let the vet continue to research because it's always going to be good to get, uh, to get more research there. And I think, let's see, do we have any enrichment now? Because that's, oh, we do a large barrel feeder. So that's going to help them uh, be a little bit happier. They've got now 50% enrichment. Their welfare is up to 80, which is good. They're still not super duper happy, but, well, I mean, they're pretty happy, but they're not as happy as they could be. Education is, however, low. So let's go to viewing devices and speakers. We'll put up... I do actually want this to align to the surface now. So we'll put up some of these. Let's go ahead and make sure we set these to aardvark. Um, I'll put them mostly over here because um, and if we put the speaker like right here, that'll probably cover a pretty large area. All right, let's see. And we'll go ahead and we'll do aardvark. And that'll cover, whoa, that covers quite a lot of the zoo area actually. Maybe I don't want it all the way up. Uh, maybe if I move that, I'll move this one here, and uh, I can duplicate this and put this one over here. And that way it shouldn't be too, like, it shouldn't be overlapping. We won't have issues with it overlapping. And now if we look at our education, you can see we're getting some there. And I don't want to put anything here yet because eventually this will change to a glass panel will eventually be removing the uh, gate there and putting it in the back instead. So I don't want to do too much there. Oh, we've got zoo challenges. Oh, okay. It's specific to the zoo you're currently running. If you don't like a particular challenge, you can discard it. So exhibit species, I do want to delve into those. Maybe that's part of what we'll start putting on this side. Food profits, we don't have any food yet, but we will. And at least 300 guests in the zoo. We're actually well on our way towards that. And look, we're up to 12,000. So we're definitely earning some income here. It keeps dropping back down and then going up again. Oh, yeah, see, it's trending upward. 2,000, almost 3,000. Wow. Okay, so the aardvarks are very popular. Uh, let's see what other animals maybe we could do. I kind of... I'll scroll through some of these and we'll kind of see... Uh, the guests are still moving around, so we can kind of let this run in the background. Aldabra giant tortoises are from tropical Africa, though, so we could probably put some of those nearby. Maybe we could build a, uh, an exhibit over here. So let's start looking in animal trading and see if we can find any. We've still got our African wild dog and Arctic wolf. That guy actually isn't too bad. I'm going to snag this one. There we go. And we'll kind of keep an eye out and see if we can find any females eventually. We got four items over one species. So let's see if we've got any other enrichment for them now. Oh, we do. We've got, we can put it in a small ball and a small ice ball. And that should make them pretty dang happy, shouldn't it? Oh yeah, their enrichment's all the way up and their nutrition we could probably bump up a little as well. Oops, we've got to do that from the exhibit. So we go here and we look at the animals. We can, holy smokes, that costs a lot to feed them. Goodness, we are making a good profit, so that's not, I'm not too concerned about that. But yikes. Oh, they're, they're going to actually have babies now. Okay, we got some female Arctic wolves here that I want to look at. I'm going to risk it and adopt uh, Jessica here because I think, like, I want to, hopefully I didn't get two that had the same uh, deficit. It doesn't want me to oh, select. Oh, I can select like this. Not too bad. Fertility on the male is kind of bad. But otherwise, I think we got some decent things. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm not getting any animals that are completely infertile. I realize I should be more careful about that. But, okay, African buffalo... Uh, this guy's not bad. I'm gonna adopt him. And then I'm gonna get this female. Can I, can I get the female? There we go. So let's look in our, our, our traits. Well, how big, how big of a group do these guys live in? Um, three to 15, up to one male and up to 14 females. So let's see if we can get one more. And then I think that'll probably be a good place to kind of leave off because we've got, uh, quite a few animals to potentially then get into the zoo in the near future here uh, that we can start building exhibits for next time around. Um, I'm going to go with this one, I think. Uh, I've seen bigger and better zoos. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to make it bigger and better. 
Uh, it's not really big enough to need food yet, but I think overall we're doing pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, though, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.